Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Getting Started with Red Booth. I'm Kim Wolf, Director of Marketing at the company. And if you're interested in what project management or online collaboration solutions can do for you, or if you've just signed up for Red Booth and you want to get started, this webinar is geared towards you. Red Booth is an online project management and collaboration platform that allows you and your team to work smarter. So let's take a look at how Red Booth can help you. Let's take a look at how you're probably working today. So you're in the middle of a busy work day with a flurry of activity surrounding you. You work with various teams or clients in different departments or different offices. And there are meetings you need to attend, you need to take notes on the discussion and then decide on action items afterwards. And you probably use multiple tools to collaborate with your team, but like most people, you're still heavily relying on email to work together. And as a result, your inbox is overflowing with messages and you're just trying to keep on top of them. And if your work life looks like this, you're probably feeling like it's hard to keep track of everything and that things might be slipping through the cracks. People are wasting huge amounts of time searching for information and managing email when there are better ways to prioritize your work and collaborate across a company. So what are you dealing with? You know, there's constant messages because it's the main way groups collaborate today. And oftentimes you don't know or aren't sure who owns certain work tasks. Inboxes are bursting with tons of messages and important information gets lost in all the noise and you often waste time searching for important data. It's hard to get employees engaged when things aren't being organized or managed well. And decisions take forever because it's hard to manage your projects with the tools we have currently. And ultimately, all of this leads to poor execution. In fact, the McKinsey Global Institute came out with a report stating that by using the right collaboration tools, we could be boosting the productivity of our knowledge workers by 20 to 25%. Think about what that means in terms of real time and cost savings. By bringing your team together into a collaborative workspace, you can visualize work progress. You can communicate quickly and improve accountability which means you can get more done faster. With Red Booth, it begins with the workspace. These can be for a team, project, event, a client, or anything you want. Within that workspace, you discuss and collaborate with your team, you share important information, and you communicate about your work. When you look at how people work, first, you brainstorm. Maybe you email on some topics, and then you have more discussions and meetings. Eventually, you need to take action and ensure everyone knows what to do, who's doing it, and when it needs to be done. Then, the team needs to do the actual work. Red Booth allows you to collaborate the way you naturally do. Use tools you're already familiar with and pull all of your content and processes into a single workspace. I'm going to jump into our demo now to give you a detailed overview of how you can use Red Booth to organize and manage your work easily, improve visibility and accountability, and collaborate with your coworkers in real time. When you first sign up for Red Booth, you create an organization, which is generally your company name. Inside of your organization, you create workspaces. And these are separate areas where smaller groups of people can work together. The way I've set up Red Booth is by department, so I mainly work inside my marketing project. But I'm also a member of the product team and sales because I need to collaborate in cross-functional teams. But the platform is really flexible and you can set up your workspaces however you want. Some people create workspaces for a certain initiative, like big product launch. I've also seen customers that work with several different clients create separate workspaces for each client. So think about how you would customize your workspaces to fit your specific needs. Now I want to invite my coworkers so that we can collaborate around our work tasks. I'm going to jump into my marketing project. Sometimes people think that each person on your team needs to sign up for a Red Booth account, but that's not the case. Only one person needs to create an account and then they invite members to their workspace. To invite people to a workspace, 
I just want to click on the members icon at the top. From here, it's easy to add and delete users. Let's say I want to invite Debbie to my workspace. I can simply type in her email, or if she's already in my network, I can add her here. If I want to add several people at once, I'll click on Add Multiple Members and add their emails here or select them from my network. If Debbie leaves the company or no longer needs access to this workspace, I can easily remove her. Once your colleagues are part of your Red Booth workspace, we can start getting work done. Let's begin with tasks, which are much more powerful than a to-do list. They help you collaborate with your team to get things done faster and easier. When I jump into a task detail, I can see the title, who it's assigned to, and the due date. I can also add a brief description or add subtasks and check them off as they're completed. You enter comments here, so now everyone involved can keep track of progress. To create a new task, you can either click on the red Create button or jump right into a task list to create new tasks. When I open this task, I'll write a description so that my coworkers know what this is about. And maybe I need some subtasks to break this up. Design email. Create copy. And segment customer list. Maybe I need to attach an image file for this too. And I can do this easily from my hard drive or from any of my linked accounts. assign this to Sarah because she handles all our email promotion and I'll set a due date. As a manager, I can get some visibility into what's going on with this workspace and how things are coming along. Some are overdue or there's no progress. I can go in and ping the owner to ask what's going on. Let's take a look at my tasks. I've actually completed this task and I want to let Julie know. I'll post an update and at mention her. By using the at mention, I can send my coworker a notification so I can keep them in the loop. And I can also notify people by adding them in the notifications panel. Since this task is done, I'm going to resolve it. And you can see it'll drop off my tasks for the day. As you can see, we also use task lists to group similar type of tasks together. To help my team and I stay organized, I want to create a new task list for the blog. To do this, I simply click on Add a task list and type in blog. And I'll populate this with a series of tasks. Interview guest bloggers. Update monthly calendar. And 
and blog about Gantt chart. Diana is responsible for all blog tasks, so I'm going to highlight them and bulk assign them to her. Next, let's talk about the dashboard. This is command central for keeping track of what's happening during your workday. On the left, I've got all my notifications about what's happening inside of my workspaces. These can be tasks that I'm working on with other colleagues, a conversation where I should give feedback, or a company announcement, for example. I'll go through and dismiss ones that are resolved, or give feedback, or maybe return to them when I'm less busy. On the right, I can see at a glance which tasks are assigned to me and what I need to work on. These are always going to be listed in chronological order, from urgent, high-priority tasks on top, then overdue tasks, then today's tasks. Below, you can see all the tasks that are coming up in the future. Now I'm going to jump into my marketing workspace. Again, each workspace is a separate environment, and you can grant each coworker access as needed, so people who are in marketing will not see sales if they are not a member. And the main features in each workspace are located in the top navigation. Now I want to highlight the different ways Redbooth can help you and your team work smarter. Communication is a key aspect of good collaboration, and conversations are a great way to share ideas, make announcements, or discuss items with your team. It's important to think of this tool as a way to communicate with different parts of your team so that everyone can collaborate in this discussion. Let's jump into this conversation. Instead of having to draft an email, remember everybody's contact information or who you need to involve, I can simply use conversations to reach my entire team. By using the at command, I can reply directly to Diana or everybody in this workspace. This is a huge time saver and everyone can chime in when they're free. In files, you can find all of the files that have been uploaded into tasks or conversations in a specific workspace in one location. If we need to find a file, we forget what task it's located in, you can find it here. And I can create folders and dra drag and drop images into specific folders. So again, files is a single location where you can find anything that's been uploaded into Redbooth. For those times when you have an urgent question for your colleague, you can hop on chat to get an instant answer. Let's say, for example, I have a question about a recent blog that Diana is creating. I'll just come down to our chat window and select Diana. And I'll ping her to see if she's available. So I'll just shoot her a message to see when this blog is going to be released. What makes Redbooth Chat unique is that it's contextual, so I can include this exact task that I'm referencing inside the chat window by using the hashtag. I want to ask her when this is going to be complete. I want to ask her when this is going to be posted. And now there are always going to be times when you need to discuss something in more detail. What if your coworker is in a different office or a different country? In this case, Diana wants me to hop on a video chat to further discuss this task. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start an HD meeting. So in this case, I'm going to set up an HD meeting so we can chat face to face. 
I simply want to go to our top navigation and click on HD Meeting and Meet Now. I'll copy the meeting URL and chat it over to Diana. Hey Diana, how's it going? Hi Kim. Hi, um, so I just wanted to check in with you on that blog post. Yes, so I'm excited to share this with you. I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Let's see. So the good news is the post is up, it looks great, and our product designer, Sarah, made this awesome illustration. Can you see it on your screen? Yeah, it looks fantastic. You know what's super cool is the words in there are actual code from the product. That, so we're really excited about it. That's awesome. That's really creative and it looks great. Okay, great. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I just wanted to check in with you on that. Okay, great. Okay, have a good day. You too. Bye. And I'll go ahead and end the meeting. And that's how easy it is to use HD meetings for face-to-face -face conversations with your coworkers. And again, with HD meetings, you have two options. You can meet now, or you can also schedule a meeting. So if I want to schedule a meeting for the future, let's say I want to have a discussion about the blog. I could set up my meeting for next Friday at 3 p.m. and schedule that for about an hour. And you can select Google Calendar, iCal Outlook, wherever you, you keep your calendar. And I would just hit schedule. And so I hope you can see that this is a huge value that you have included in Redbooth. Um, there's no need to pay for a separate video conferencing service. You have everything included all in the same solution. So with that, I've given you an in-depth look at how Redbooth can help you and your company be more productive and work smarter. If you haven't already, sign up for a free account at redbooth.com and start being more productive today. Thanks for joining us.